Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in the last episode of The Fugitive Run, we were looking for graves. Couldn't find any. That's okay. So I've decided on this run, we're going to try to blow through as many of our, uh, as our radiant shards as possible. So the beginning of this is probably going to be a little bit of a montage. I'm going to cut it real short, but a little bit of a montage of... Going from uh, system to system, trying to see how far we can jump with all of this fuel. Like, we're going to use up all of our Radiant Shards. Well, maybe we'll leave, like, two or three. But we're just going to jump and see how far it goes. And I might actually keep it, uh, keep track of the time on how, uh, how long it takes me to jump. So let's see how close we can get to the center. Now, before we go too crazy in here, let's do this. Let's go to that. All right, that way it automatically puts me in there. So, just for reference, we are at 698,000 light years from the galaxy core. You see that up at the top left-hand side of the screen. And we have a good, decent, you know, a decent uh, hyperdrive upgrade. We're up to 1442 on our distance. And we have a lot of uh, shards here. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be what? 27, 28, 29, almost 30 crystals. So let the montage begin. I'm probably going to fast forward this, but let's see how far we can go. Okay, I'm going to jump out here for a second just to show you guys. I jumped as far as I... I haven't even refilled my uh, my hyperdrive yet. I've almost jumped... What is that? We were at 698, 88, 78. So 25,000 light years on one tank. On one tank of fuel, 25,000 light years. And it was about 10 minutes. So just to give you an idea, 10 minutes of jumping, and I finally, and I only need one. Yeah, one of these will do it. Oh my god, you guys. We might make it to the center just with all this. Jeez, I didn't think it was going to be that efficient. 25,000 light years on one crystal, and we have 20 of them. And I was literally just doing this, just selecting it, going as far as I can. I averaged about 12. So I would go to, you know, as, as good as I can, because we can only go up to 14,000, so, or 1,400. I would choose usually systems that are between 12, 1,100, 1,200. Sometimes you get 13 and 14, but a lot of times you're getting like 11 and 1,200 light years per jump. So yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that efficient. And so I did one jump from 100% uh, fuel. 5% every jump. Even if I go the maximum distance. Like, I went 1,300 in that one jump. 5%. So, guys, yeah. the uh, I might get to the center before I run out of uh, fuel. Or if out of, uh, yeah, out of fuel. Because, I mean, I literally... Oh, wait a minute. That's outside of our range. Right there. 14. So, yeah, that's crazy. I thought for sure I'd be refilling faster. Like, okay. After about 10... 
10,000 I'd have to refill, you know, every 10,000 or so? No, and I don't, I don't even have the best uh, upgrades on my ship. Like, I can get better uh, hyperdrive upgrades, and it's just... Dude, it's just taking a while. I, I did, you know, 25,000 light years in about 10 minutes. So if you max that out, let's just say 25 every 10 minutes. So that's 60 minutes is one hour. So times six, 25, 50, 100, 150,000 in an hour. 150,000 uh, light years in one hour. And if we have to go 700, <laughs> we're talking like, what is that? 153, six. We're talking five hours probably of just doing this. Five hours straight. If you have very good upgrades, you can jump for five hours and you'll get to the center. About that. <laughs> if you, or you can cover 700,000 light years in about five hours. That's crazy. I In my brain, it didn't work out that way. The math just wasn't working out. I thought, okay, I'm going to refill. I thought, for one, I'd be traveling farther faster. Like, I thought it would, I was going to get up to, like, 50,000, you know, within, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. But I thought I was going to use more fuel. I thought it was going to be faster to travel, and I was going to be using more fuel. That is not the case. I'm using less fuel, but it's taking me longer to go. Oh, so with all that being said, let's find a good dissonant system to kind of stop off in. I had, I had major plans. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this for like an hour and and be there, you know, close like halfway. Nope, that's not going to happen. Going to need a couple hours at minimum of just doing this. And I wouldn't run out of fuel. Dissonant system right there. Let's see if we can find a pirate dissident system, because that's like the gold mine. That's what we want. I did run into one on our way here, but I thought, nah, we're not going to stop there, right? I mean, come on. You don't want to stop early. But I mean, I did stop at 10 minutes in, so maybe. Um, We had a couple to choose from. Oh, that's outside of our range. Um, I saw one over here. I could have sworn I saw one up here. No? No? That's a one star. That's fine. One star. That's fine. Let's go over here and check it out and see what we got going on here. So I think we still have our chart, our harmonic chart, so we can go check out and see what kind of, at least what kind of, uh, ooh, orange filter. Okay, nice. What kind of uh, ship is around here? So yeah, I called it off. We're not going to be doing that much traveling because good lord. I don't want to do that for five hours straight. Maybe if we get desperate. Signal trace established. Wait, is this a... Uh... Oh, no. This is my uh, my dreams of the deep. We're not doing missions. We can't do any missions. All right. Let's go do that. Thank God it didn't change it out to do a mission for me. That would have drove me crazy. We have any... Uh... Yeah, we'll get rid of one of these. <laughs> I can't believe how fuel efficient it is. That's crazy. And I mean, yeah, like I have 100% warp efficiency, but 290, we can probably get a better or a longer distance on that. There's no warp efficiency on this one, so I could do even better. I can get another black market upgrade that can give me warp efficiency. And that one does give me some warp efficiency, and it's a supercharged one. So yeah, there you go. But I mean, I could get more upgrades for my... Uh, my hyperdrive, like in a normal game uh, playthrough, you get some really good upgrades on that uh, hyperdrive, and you're good. You're done. Let's see what's down in here. Volcano. Another volcano dissident camp. Are you serious? What is up with the volcano camps? Or volcano corrupted planets? I'm just running into all of them. Get all these. I don't know if we're going to get anything good out of any of this. We got void moats. We can sell those. And let's open these up. Nope, don't need that. So, move that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We can refine that. Move these over. 
I didn't get any cool, uh, dang it. Didn't get any expansion units. That's fine. Pop that down here. Uh, there we go. And done. Open this up. Oh, I have a, I have a orange filter going on here. Oh my God. Is a volcano exploding right now? Uh, 14 minus six is eight, eight, 14, three, eight, 14, three. If my math is right, my math could be wrong on that. Oh God. So three, eight. Yep, 8143. We'll see what kind of uh, awesome, what's it called? Uh, Sentinel ship is in here. I forgot, yeah, I was a pink character. I keep not paying attention to that. There's one over there. Let's grab this thing. Oh, it's a uh, pistol. And it is a C-Class with just trash all over it. Nope. We're good on that. Let's grab this. Let's look around. Any graves? Unknown building. Oh, there's a uh, guy over there. Oh, my frame rate's getting kind of crazy. What's going on here? Frame rate wasn't doing so hot. Oh, there we go. Texture's not popping in. Man. What is going on here? Let's grab this uh, resonator. Oh, I don't have any ammo. I forgot I didn't make any ammo. I was making room. Echo locator, perfect. Oh, there's a uh, crash freighter over there. Nice. How far away is that ship? That is, oh, over an hour away. Okay, if it was like 10 minutes away, I would walk it because I want to see what's going on there. But no, I'm not walking for that. That's a big old guy over there. 168. I'll take it. Yeah, I know. There we go. Just go over this way. Crashing all these treetops. And now it is six minutes away. Another crash freighter. Nice. Okay. I'll take a crash freighter right there. That'd be cool. There's a ton of them. This crash freighter central. And this is very flat for a volcano planet. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe they're all just popping in. Oh, that's a uh, shop right there. All right, so volcanoes. There is something weird with volcanoes. I think they traded it up or traded them out because they had a lot of, like, buildings that would respawn or they would populate inside of uh, volcanoes. So there's some new algorithm, some new process to where they, they will move volcanoes if they think there's a building too close. I don't know what they did to do that, but it kind of, uh, it waits until the last minute to put down a volcano, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, you see how it populates pretty late. Like, yeah, it'll just pop in because it looks like it's waiting to see where the, the buildings are first and then the volcano. Yeah, see, look at that. So it's calculating where the buildings are and then putting a volcano afterwards, which makes it pop in way worse than usual. What is this one? Oh, this one looks like it could be good. It looks like a blue one or green. It's blue. Look at this. Okay. Do you think it's an S class? I still don't like the uh, landing gear, but hey, you know what? It's a B. B's decent. B is a decent one. Really? All right. Well, let's fire that off go on that one we don't have anything here oh because it's already maxed out that's why i thought i had some but yeah i forgot last episode we uh used up a lot of our chromatic metal and condensed carbon to make that i know oh five uh, glass i'll take that 
All right, so we have pretty decent ones up there. Let's see what we can get out of this. So that is a... Ooh, that's a decent one. Core health and... Oh, no. Just core health, huh? So... Shield strength. Core health. That's actually... It's not as good as this one. Because I need core health and shield strength. Let's see what this one does. Is it better? Ah, uh, core health. Dang it! Life support tanks. Uh, I want the shield. That's what I want. So that's why I don't want to get rid of this one. It has plus 31% shield. This one has shield. This one has shield, but not... Oh, yeah. See, that's a good one. This one... It only has core health. If it had shield health, I'd be totally all, all over it. That one's definitely not as good. But I'm hesitant because this one is actually really good. It has fuel efficiency, life support tanks, and solar panel, but it just gives me health and not shields. And the problem is, in extreme mode, if your shield goes down about halfway, you still take damage. We're, we're going to get rid of it. Dang it. All right. But yeah, if your shield goes down to about halfway, you start getting broken uh, upgrades. And that is a major, major problem on extreme mode. I wish they would change it to where your uh, technology would not break until your shield is gone, no matter what difficulty. You know, so oh, make it to where your your technology is safe as long as you have a shield. That's easy to kind of, okay, I understand that. And if you want to make it more difficult, make it to where your shield drains way faster on an extreme difficulty. Change it to where that happens. If I get upgrades, I can improve it, but your shield goes down a lot faster while you're in extreme mode. That's a, to me, that seems perfectly balanced because if you have a shield on, it feels like you're shielded. You don't need to worry about damage or anything because you still have a shield. That's not the case though. It kind of irritates me. There we go. All right. So let's see what this uh, cool ship, what it looks like the animation wise and what it has like uh in the technology upgrades maybe it has a uh, cool thing that i don't have on this uh, i can swap it out for my s class because you know it's a b class i'm not going to worry about upgrading that dang thing i'll just scrap it and call it a day we don't need that we want to make some more room we don't need that the uh pure ferrite we can always make that later on not a big deal all right, so this is going to be a scrap, but it, ah, it doesn't have really anything. It has the rockets, but that's about it. And the inventory is kind of, uh, it's nice, but it's, I hate the gaps all over it. We're going to claim this baby. Let's see what it looks like when we take off. All right, the wings just lower down. And then the, uh, the stuff moves around. It's pretty good. It's not the best I've seen. I wish it had... If it had the tank shreds, oof, we'd be looking for an S-Class for that one. I like the tank shreds, for sure. Nothing around here. I'm not seeing any graves. Yeah, we're not seeing any graves. Okay. So let's jump a little bit more. Like, I would run around this planet, but, you know, it's it's still a, a pain in the butt. It is a uh, volcano planet that's super hot. The current missions, get out of here. It is a pain in the butt, so you're constantly going to have to worry about your, uh, your hazard protection. So, let's see what we got out over here. Water, 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 water. Looking for a dissident system. No. No, no. Oh, out of jump range. Got to back up a little bit. No, nope. nope. It's a pirate system, but no, not a uh, not one we need. Dissonant. There we go. Corrupted system. And yeah, just trying to you know look around a little bit for my uh, my awesome little uh, gravestones. Hopefully. But yeah, we're kind of going along, trucking along. I feel like we're doing decent. That is a green planet over there. Look at that. That is standout green. Do we not have anything here? Wait a minute. 
No harmonies detected in this. Oh, okay, so it's probably an anomaly planet. So I picked wrong. I chose wrong. I thought for sure. Oh, yeah, th that'll be a good one. Nope. Just didn't know. We got to go farther than that. Want to make my jumps count. Water. Water, water. Water. Um, dum dum. Water. Come on, really? No dissonant systems? There we go. Check out this one again. Good. Oh, not maximum, but pretty close to maximum. But it does not matter if you go five light years or if you go 55 or 105 or 5,000. It feels like it uses the same amount of fuel no matter what. So you might as well maximize your jumps and use as much fuel as possible or go as far as possible because it's going to take the same amount of fuel, which is kind of weird. You would think that if you only went like, depending on your uh, your jump size, if you went 10 or 15% of your maximum jump, it would only take 10 or 15% of your fuel. I mean, come on. Why not, right? So, eh, it's okay, though. We, now we know the rules, at least. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like a good planet. Endless Moras. So it's going to be a uh, swampy planet. Which I can deal with. Oh, I can study some stuff. I don't care what you... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do care. Never mind. I take it back. I do care because I I wanna I wanna do that, obviously. You sell the Viking effigies. That void moats. Sell the emerald. Make some money off of that. Um, dirty bronze. We could have refined that, but I don't care. Um, the magnetic resonator. All right, we're good. Thank you so much for the uh, drop pod locations. I like that. And if this is a really cool, uh, this is a cool system, we'll just, or a cool planet, we'll just stay here and hunt for some, uh, locations there, some, uh, drop pods. And for the most part, swampy planets are pretty cool. So they'll have a hot, uh, storm every once in a while, but for the most part, you're just running around. There's no extreme heat or anything like that, which is nice. Does it have purple plants? Please tell me these guys are actually purple and when I land the filter. <gasps> it is a purple. Mm, we might have to stick around with this one. Might have to stick around this one. Purple uh, trees, of course. A uh, suspicious packet of goods. Thank you. That'll be something. Oh, we have another exosuit expansion pack. Oh, my good gravy. All right. Let's see what we got. We don't need that really. Oh, we have some cadmium. We got some rusted metal and a suspicious shield module. Let's see what we got out of it. 14. Okay. That was a terrible one. I mean, it's not, not zero, but 14. Usually like if it's really bad, it'll only give you 14% shield and that's it. It won't even give you health, but this one at least is giving me health as well. Just not what I wanted. Oh my god, so much sodium. We don't need rusted metal, we're good. Put that on the ship. We'll refine that, uh... That beautiful runaway mold. And there's gonna be some left over, but that's fine. Let's see. Scan the memory registers. 1, 6, 12. That's actually pretty good. 1, 6, 12? I think we've had that one before, haven't we? I remember that. I remember that being one. One, six, and twelve. And then let's see what kind of uh, awesome. Please be really cool. Give me those big old tank treads. That's what I'm hoping for. And an S class. That would be good too. Give me some S class tank treads. So let's see. Oh, C 
superheated rainstorm, of course. Let's check this out. What do you got for me? It's a C-Class with nothing in it. Wow, great. Thank you for that. Thank you for wasting my time. And are you close? Oh, 10 hours. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be walking for 10 hours. That's a little bit excessive. If it was like, you know, if it was like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm all for it. 10 hours? Eh, maybe not. I can get to the center of the, uh, the galaxy faster than that. And... I don't know. I'm not seeing any graves. Well, let's get over here. Let's go check out the uh, awesome sentinel ship that we got. Or that we could possibly get. And we'll get some... Uh, it's, it looks like a decent enough uh, area. See, if it was like 10 minutes away like that on foot, then no problem. Oh, yeah, we get some uh, drop pods. Because we have, uh, what, three? Did we buy three? Yeah, we bought three. And then we have another two free upgrades. So there you go. So immediately we have five new uh, inventory slots, which is going to be good. Get this going over here. Everything kind of pop in. Beautiful. And what is it going to be? As a shelter. Just looking for different buildings. Run into a sentinel pillar. That'd be really good. We could turn off the sentinels. Then we don't have to worry about them. That's always nice. And it's looking pretty cool. It's a red. Ooh, okay. It has some good wings on it. Let's see. It's C class though. So yeah, it's trash, but we'll take it. We'll take the trash. that over to our starship move that over to the starship we don't need that yeah we need to get some uh silicate powder for sure yeah this one looks it could be good i mean it's kind of stuck in a wall which eh, doesn't really help the uh selling factor on that hopefully it's not broken and starship all right any um gravestones around here unknown building so it won't pop up as an unknown building. It's one of the few locations that it'll come up with a grave marker, no matter how much or how far you are. It'll literally mark it down as a grave. And our uh, thing is, we're not telling me. Is it like right across the, ow. What is this? Don't be on alert. What is this? Uh, grab that animal. What is this? Oh, a beacon. Okay, never mind. Don't need that. Just looking around a little bit. I thought maybe we could try walking to it, but it doesn't even. Like, what? Why won't it tell me how far away it is? I don't understand. Just let me know. I will go. I will walk to it, but I don't want to take that chance if it's not that close. Where are you? Uh, it was close enough. I could have walked this son of a. Looking for a uh, grave site, but it just wouldn't want to give me the location, I guess. Didn't want to tempt me. I know. Here we go. Present the brain. No graves. No, none. Okay. Well, let's go back and see what we got out of there. It is only a C class, but it's, again, the technology upgrades are randomized. Maybe we'll get something good out of there. I don't think I need anything really. A lot of uh, uh, crash freighters all of a sudden, you guys. That's kind of weird. That's like the third one we've seen in a really short amount of time, just randomly.
What the? They kicked me out? I guess they wanted to tell me something. <laughs> it didn't even give me the choice. There we go. I mean, the, the inventory is nice and squared off. I like that, but there's no upgrades in here. So, I mean, technically, yes, there is a rocket launcher, but I don't count that. Let's see. Ooh, it just lowers the wings. And it is a red. I mean, it looks purple now because of the filter. But it's a red. It's a really good red as well. Yeah, that's a really dark red. Like, not even the orange. Like, we get that orange red sometimes. Like, the, the like, burnt orange or the deep orange. This is just solid red. All right. Well, there's that. All right. I mean, we're doing decently, right? Let's uh, wander around a bit. We need to find a freaking uh, grave. Is that a Diplo? Oh, no. It's just a, uh, a dog looking. Most corrosive blood. That would not have helped me on the Voyager's expedition. I'll tell you that. That would have ruined it all. Shield module. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I definitely don't because I think the... The ones I have are above an A, but just to show you guys. An A on average, 20, and I mean, that, that, you know what? That's decent. But I have a 28 and a 24, and this one I believe is a 30. This one is a, uh, yeah, 20. Wait a minute, 25? Why, do I, why am I not uh, chasing? Why are you putting the weaker one in there? It's still better than the A, but it should have had it in the, uh, the 28 in there, not the 25. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No graves? Okay. Let's just keep going. We're going to head north. Just because it's, it's an easy, simple... Like, you can do it without even thinking about it. Oh, we're going to get to the water pretty soon. Because that's where my monolith is. So, that's not going to be good. And how far away is the monolith? It is 10 minutes away. Okay, so it's a 10 minute walk. I could have done that! And looked for graves on the way. But they didn't want to tell me. No, right. And I've been, I've been playing more and more with the PlayStation version. The PS5 version of the game. And I will say, I do prefer the PC version. Except for this. Okay, there we go. The texture pop-in is uh, across everywhere. So if you're playing on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, it is everywhere. However... It's always about the same amount of time for the pop-in like that. Just slowly lo loads in. But the difference is on PC, I can go through and I can say, hey, look, I need to lower this down. So I can go to my options and say, hey, go to my uh, displaying graphics. And if I need to, pop all this down. Like I have it all on ultra right now. So it all looks really crisp and nice. But if I need to, my planet's quality, I can lower that down to standard. That's your draw distance. So it'll, it won't pop in because there just won't be anything there. Like, it, it takes away the amount of, like, crystals and plants that are out there. So you don't see as much, which is fine, but it kind of breaks it. I mean, it doesn't really break it because, I mean, look at this. I can't see it anyway. It takes a second to load in. So, you know what? Let's try that. Let's just see. Display settings. Let's go to the worst quality. Let's just go to standard. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, there you go. That's why you don't want to do that. We got to test it with something else, I guess. So I'll test it on my free time just to see. Because, yeah, look at that, that load in. If you go fast enough, like if you're just walking along, it'll load a good distance away from you. Like if I'm running, see, it's far enough away to where you don't really see it unless you're looking for it. Whereas if you jetpack... You do your jetpack boost, it it shows up because you get there before it has time to load in. Here's my chart. Yeah, see how here it goes. Oh yeah, see look at I hit a crystal before it even loaded in. Like I was running into nothing. And then it loads in and you're like, oh okay, that's why I stopped, because there's a crystal in front of me. I just didn't see it. <laughs> Cause it wasn't really there. That is something I hope that they fix in a patch. You know, I don't know if there's a way to do that, but literally give us the option. When we choose load distance, make the game use up more memory. Like right now, it feels like it's capped. 
Like I'm playing on a uh, on PC. I'm playing with a, uh, an AMD 7900 XTX, which is a really powerful graphics card. Number one, but number two, it has 24 gigs of VRAM. So it has a lot of VRAM in there. Even on my high settings, even everything's set to the maximum, the game No Man's Sky never uses more than 10. Never. It'll never go above 10. And I'm like, use more. There's, there, you have 24 available. Use more. If that's what would do it, please use more. But it doesn't, it, it, there's like a hard cap. Doesn't matter what graphics card you have. If you have a really good one or a really bad one, if you have a really bad one, you don't want to set it all the way up because, you know, you have a really bad memory card or a graphics card or a very old one. I shouldn't say bad, older one that's limited. But I mean, it, even on consoles, you have an eight gig limit and maybe that's what it is because I know they're not setting all the, the settings to the max, to the ultra settings. There's a lot of uh, lower res textures. There's a lot of uh, the... Uh, the reflections are not as high quality as on PC, so they're not set to the maximum. So I know they're not using all 8 gigs of memory. So I don't know what they're doing. So, but you can optimize the console version. You can just say, hey, look, we're going to turn down the settings, but because we turned down the settings, we don't have to worry about the pop-in. We just use extra memory to load in more uh, assets, and they're just lower quality, lower resolution, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, look at this. And then boom, loads in. So yeah, I don't know what they got to do, but I'll hopefully that is a future update. They go through and they say, look, we're going to optimize performance, but not like frame rate or whatever. We're going to optimize that pop in, that load in. When you break the atmosphere of a planet, it loads almost all of it. That way it takes a lot of uh, RAM, but you don't have to worry about you're walking along and the textures just pop in or a crystal just pops in out of nowhere. You don't got to worry about that. Because, yeah, it feels like they only load in for the, the smaller details. They only load in about 50 feet in front of you, 50 units. And then, you know, after you get there, when you get close enough, then it pops in. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, we're looking for graves. God, I got all distracted talking about textures and stuff. Dang it. And again, I am not a game developer, so I have no idea. I could be talking about my butt. You know, Sean Murray can look at it and say, yeah, you know what? It sounds great, but uh, Jason, that's not, that's not even close to how it works, man. And I get it, you know? But whatever the process is, it feels like it's not... It is not utilizing the power it's given. There are some rules that are keeping it down. The, the uh, CPU usage is very low. I Usually I run everything at max settings. I am only running at 60 frames per second. But, I mean, my CPU us usage is like 20%. It might go higher during a loading screen because it's loading in a, a, you know, a new planet or a base or whatever. But... You're talking maybe 50%, and I don't even have a really modern uh, CPU. I have a 10900K, which is like a few years old at this point. It's newer than the consoles, don't get me wrong. But it's still not using, on average, it's using 20-30% most of the time. Every once in a while, we'll spike up to 50%, and you're like, ooh, man, that's a heavy load. But uh, it feels like the the game engine itself is not utilizing the power that it's given or utilizing all of the power that's available to it. I would love for them to say, look, we have the uh, we have the old gen and the new gen, or we have the 2020 version and then we have the 2023 version or whatever, however you want to break it out. And if you have a, a modern version, if you want to play the most current version, it is going to really go after your uh, your options. You say, hey, look, if you're turning it up, it's going to eat up 10, 15, 20 gigabytes of VRAM, but it's loading in basically the entire game. <laughs> I don't know. It just loads it all in at once. Everything.
And I'm sure they probably hear a lot of this on their emails and they're just like, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. We're working on it, but you know, we also have a Switch version we need to, to work on. We have the, the Apple, the uh, Mac version we need to work on. So it's on the list, but we have all these other platforms we gotta, you know, work on as well, Jason, come on. There are only so many of us, because it's still a small team. They don't have like 500 people working at Hello Games. I still think it's under 30, maybe 40 people at this point. Less than 50 for sure. Unless they went on a massive hiring spree and I don't know about it. But yeah, there's less than 50 people doing this. So definitely probably strained for resources. There are only so many people can work on this stuff. Nothing. There's an animal down there. Scan him. Nothing. Oh, there's a building. I don't know why. I always stop to get the uh, condensed carbon, but there's no, absolutely no reason to, Jason. Don't get the condensed carbon, man, because uh, I already have like three or four stacks of it. There's no, none, no reason to get it. And it looks like a shelter. Oh, no, no, it's a marketplace. You can see by that little orb, the communication station, trade terminal. Nothing. Inverted mirror. I was hoping for a chart. Go, go, go. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Get over here. Combat scope. Nothing. Swarm is multiplying. You don't worry about me, Sentinels. Get over here. No, no, no. Let's go around here. All right. So this episode might be a little bit shorter. So it's not my fault. It's because, uh, I did do a lot of traveling earlier in the episode, and we're gonna, probably going to fast forward or trim that out a little bit. But yeah, so we, we did move about 25,000 uh, light years, so we just have 670,000 to go. So hopefully you guys like the episode. Kind of chatting, kind of looking at uh, stuff like that. Getting some good uh, sentinel ships. Oh, we got to call on my good one. Where are you at? Where is it? Remnant? Oh no! I don't have enough fuel? Are you serious? All right, well, I guess we gotta call this one in. I think there's a glitch to where if you call it in and it's not on the planet, you can, you know, it won't use any fuel. What? I don't know about that. What's this one? No, it's still 68. So is it recharging? It is recharging, it says 68. All right. Well, hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.